So the next thing in making our sound responsive video players is to get sound. We need to turn sound. The trick is we're going to use the microphone as a sensor that can tell how much loudness there is going on in, in, the, war, in the room. And it uses that, uh, turns it into a numeric, numerical value and um, uses it to control the video playback. So um, here's a bunch of ways you can do sort of uh, microphone uh, input analysis. This is called sound analysis. Yeah, you could run any sound in here. It doesn't necessarily need to be the microphone. It could be the mic. It could be a pre-recorded file. It could be, you know, a song playing back, an MP3 or something. But here we're going to do it with um, uh, the microphone. These objects don't care whether it's a microphone or a pre-recorded file. It, they just see a, an audio rate signal coming in and they do their thing. But so we're going to use the microphone. So we're using the easy. ADC object. ADC is analog to digital converter. This object is called Easy ADC. So it just takes whatever the standard input is from your microphone. So usually it defaults to your internal microphone. So I believe that's what we're using here. It might actually be using the same uh, mic that we're doing yeah. for the screencasting. I'm not sure. Let's just tap this. No, I think no. it's using the yeah. uh, internal mic. So we're using the internal mic in Max and the screen recording software is using the the Yeti mic here. Okay, so we've got the mic coming in. We're going through this multiply tilde, and that just takes your signal and your amplifies it by some amount or or turns it down. So sometimes you want to amplify it, and this really simplest way to amplify an audio signal is to run it through is to multiply it by something. So if you want it to be twice as loud, you could do multiply tilde 2.0, and uh, it would do that. So um, <clears throat> I've got a few of the objects that can deal with sound here. So First one is this meter. We've got this cheesy meter here. It looks like a, um, you know, like an old control room meter. This is a more modern looking one, the LED one going up and down when I talk. So if I'm quiet here for a second, it goes down. Um, and then we've got a, a oscilloscope view here that sort of is a simulated old timey oscilloscope type of thing. It's called scope. Um, and then this one here is called spectroscope. So this is the it's a graph, actually. It shows you different volume levels at different frequencies. So um, I think the low bars down here are the low frequencies, and the high ones up here are the high frequencies. And you can see the power levels at different frequencies. Similar here, we have spectroscope. This is a specific kind of graph that it's sweeping across the, the screen and then looping back around. But it will show different. Um, so the, or the colors change based on the amount of sound at that frequency. Low frequencies are at the bottom, high frequencies are at the top. And if I just make a hissing sound, it should just sort of make a, a block of, of color because hissing is white noise and that's equal frequencies, uh, equal across all the frequencies. Let's, let's see here. Psst. Yeah, you can see it just makes this color. Um, all right, so let's see. Next up, we had peak amp and snapshot. These are simple looking objects, but they're really powerful. So peak amp does exactly what it says, peak amplitude. So every 20 milliseconds, I have the argument 20 in here. That just means that every 20 milliseconds, peak amp is going to report it's with a number. It's going to spit out a number that represents the amplitude, which is the highest amplitude thing it heard in the last 20 milliseconds. 20 milliseconds here is the reporting period. And then the number that spits out every 20 milliseconds is the loudest thing, whatever the loudest thing it heard was. Uh, snapshot does sort of something similar, but more basic. Snapshot will report the instantaneous um, sample value uh, at every 20 milliseconds, which could be negative and could be positive. I don't know if you can barely see it here. It's flipping back and forth between negative and positive values. You can sort of see the negative sign there. Um, <clears throat> Because any sound uh, file, any sound signal is going to be going above zero and below zero. So as the waves go above and below zero, that's sort of uh, how it makes the speaker push in and out to push air around. Um, so we're not going to use snapshot <clears throat> very much, um, but we will use peak amp. Um, but I wanted to show also this object called average. Average will uh, average out the signal to whatever, um, let's let me just show it as I as I show it. So let's uh, let's turn it on. Why don't we see it here? 
Okay, uh, average. Oh, I see. So that's averaging over seven samples. Um, I believe it's set to it averages to samples, not um, milliseconds. I believe. Can you you want to look that up? So what does the argument mean? Average interval. Uh, what is that in milliseconds? Samples. samples. Okay. So there's forty four thousand samples per second. So if you average over a thousand samples, that's one forty fourth of a second. <laughs> um, so average is just gonna oh let me hit absolute so that's a different mode of averaging so here we can see our sound level going up and down um, but average spits out a signal so that's not really useful to us because uh, signals you know we need to turn our volume into a number so we can control a movie player uh, but I wanted to show average and then AVG does something very similar but it does output an actual numerical value um, it only outputs the average every uh, whatever every time you see that a bang it's going to output the uh, the average so all right so um, that's a bunch of ways to analyze sound uh, the one we're going to use um, in the subsequent demos here is peak amp and remember that puts out the peak amplitude so we want to know how loud is the stuff in the in the you know, how loud is the room and we want to know that pretty pretty frequently so um, this will tell us the volume level every 20 milliseconds. So um, that's like what, uh, 50 times a second it's going to tell us tell us the, uh, the volume level. So, all right. That's it, I guess. Yep. Okay.